just who is the award-winning horror host, author, and documentary darling Dr. Sarcophagi? More precisely, just how old is he? Of course we know he's famous for his show, The Spooky Movie Show in Fairfax, Virginia back in 1995, but where exactly did he come from? Here we see him in a boat race with Moses on the River Nile in Egypt. His father was entertainer Amon Ra Sarcophagi, and his mother, Amon Joy Sarcophagi, stripper and performance artist. Because of these two people, Young Dr. Sarcophagi was encouraged into a life of entertainment and horror for obvious reasons. Here we see young Dr. Sarcophagi entertaining some royal Egyptian dignitaries. But he was summarily banished from Egypt for secretly producing a bootleg pornographic papyrus entitled Never Enough Atiti, the first nudie magazine of its kind. Here we see Dr. Sarcophagi with his first wife, legendary figure Harriet Tubman. Alas, it was a love not to last. Tubman divorced the sarcophagi after his insistence that they have a dining car as well as sell tickets for the Underground Railroad. During the vaudeville era, where such performers as Burt Williams and Pigmeat Markham, who were famous for doing blackface, Sarcophagi was the first to do negative face, a more dignified form of black performance, an easy enough effect to achieve on film but not easy on live stage, where he was summarily booed from the stage for appearing normal. Later, Dr. Sarcophagi goes off to California, where he appears in a number of commercials, and later he's lucky enough to land a role as a villain in a James Bond picture. Alas, Hollywood finds Dr. Sarcophagi's acting skills wanting. He finds work at an advertising firm of McMahon, Tate, and Black. He produces a rather charming perfume commercial that just so happens to star... his mother. Apparently, Dr. Sarcophagi became the president of a small country that was blown off the map at least 10 or 20 minutes later. He had a son, it looks like, yeah. He was very happy in this one right here. He became a snowman for Christmas. He met a vampire and a vampiress and became a canned ham, apparently. He had a machine gun and shot lots of people. He sang at the Copacabana. He turned blue. He had a cooking show. And apparently he learned how to fly. As you know, I like to try to bring culture to the show. As he was also possible. part of a failed TV uh, show right when he became too Queen's embarrassed to be so Dr. Sarcophagi. Oh, oh, dear God. Uh, is that Morgan Freeman? Hi, how are you? <laughs> you look 
Thankfully, Dr. Sarcophagi came to his senses and returned to the stage. And in each performance, he reveled in the experience. He's made so many friends over the years. And some of those friends owe him money. So this is a story of Dr. Sarcophagi, whose motto is, there are no such things as bad movies, only bad audiences. And you, over the years, have been a very, very good audience indeed. And wait till you hear the story of how Dr. Sarcophagi got his first fez. <laughs> <laughs>